just trying to cover all my embellishments. Um, in this drawer, I keep my pipe cleaners. These ones are all cut in half. I use those a lot in wreath making. So those are all in the top drawer. I just, I just made little boxes. I made them to size to fit front to back to the drawer so it could be divided up. This has flower making supplies in it. This one has my diamond dot supplies in it. This is just different tools and then I've got the little cases and I numbered them with the number of the the ones that I got from Victoria Moon. They all share the same number across kits, which is really nice. Which I think it's basically a very common numbering theme for colors because I'm pretty sure if you pulled like embroidery floss with that same number the colors would be almost identical so that's how I'm storing those left those extra diamond dots because there's always some left after you do a project and these are the ones from the actual diamond dot brand if I could find one that looked like it was pretty much identical I think I did mix them in but I didn't with all of them because I one thing I didn't take the time and second I just the bottom has some of my planner supplies that I use a lot divided up by theme or season Hopefully you won't. Hopefully that won't be too bad. Um, this Alex drawer really isn't embellishments. It's more just office supplies. So I'm not going to go through that one too much. This here is my planner cart. So sometimes if there's planner specific things, it's filed here. Um, most of my planner stickers are in a cart in the other room. I'll try to just take a picture of that and include it to show you how I file my sticker books. I have another Hudson cart for that. And here, this one's labeled jewelry making. I figured I want to do chunky charms eventually, so I figured this stuff was good for that. I have little tassels. I use those Dollar Tree plastic containers so that it could be subdivided up in there. They fit fairly well in there. I found I could fit row this way and then turn them the other direction and I could fit another row in that way. Um, this one has more beads and charms in it and I stored some of them in these little bottles and I turned them upside down so I could see what colors they were. And then I had my Wonder Woman and Supergirl charms in there and some of these little type of charms which I just have them divided. They're kind of in rainbow order there. Um, it's more stamping type supplies, more stamping supplies, and just most of the rest is miscellaneous supplies. It's not really um, embellishments. I think that may be it for embellishments. Um, over here on my desk, I'm prepping. Let's see. This this spot, this thing here is my the tools that I have left to catalog. I'm kind of waiting. I did get notification that my Tiffany order should be here Friday. So people have been complaining about her shipping from the UK, but I have to tell you, it's taking like three to four days to ship. But I've noticed if my order's over a hundred, they ship at DHL Express, and it gets here in like two days which I think is fantastic. Um, so it's taken me maybe from beginning to end now about a week, which I'll be honest, I didn't get them that fast from Washington State when Tiffany was shipping from there. So I'm actually getting them quicker now than I was before when she was shipping from the U.S. And I understand why they're shipping from um, the U.K. Their warehouse in California is pretty much closed down because of COVID. So I've got my my color products because th this is my big my big task for this challenge. My unofficial challenge is my color catalog. I've got these six with 
Each one has a different color in it. And then I have six more of these on a Rascog cart with the rest of my colors. So it's every, it's pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And then in the cart, I've got purple, white, gray, brown, black, and clear because there are some coloring agents that are clear. So that's what's in the other one. I figured it would be easier to divide them up by color when I catalog. That way I can just go through my pinks, get them all done, put my pinks away. Or, you know, even if I only do a few, put the pinks away that I get done and then move on to the next color and keep, keep working my way down the line. Now I didn't pull quite all of my colors, if you can see my um, Stampin' Up! colors. First off, I left the refills because I have one of each for refills. I'll just mark on my color catalog R for refill that it's available. And then that's, I think I got through, I think that's my greens and blues left up there. And these were just getting too full. So I, I stopped there. I figured I'd pull those down after I get through some of these. But that's my how I store my embellishments and what I have left to do this challenge I'm hoping maybe this is week four so there's four weeks left I'd have to do three containers a week I don't know if that'll happen I may not finish this round I may just have to keep working on it slowly but I'm gonna do, get as much done as I can during my unofficial challenge so hopefully then when it goes January when she does her other one, hopefully mine will just be a matter of tweaking. And I plan on still doing the challenge because my, my goal is like each week to look through like paper week, go through, look at my paper, straighten it up. You know, that's obviously not going to take me that long to do that, but look and see if there's anything that I can get rid of or that I really just need to make plans to use. <laughs> but, and same with, you know, photo week, I really won't have much to do unless I just take photo week to scrapbook, photo and momento week to scrapbook because, you know, I, I'm i pretty much caught up on storage of photos and mementos. I just have to actually scrapbook them. <laughs> um, but then like embellishment week, go through my scrapbook, scrap rack maybe straighten up a little bit try to get some more pages bought so that I can because some of those pages I know are a little too full for me <laughs> some people probably wouldn't mind them that way but I don't like them quite as full as I have some of them but it was just okay I don't really have any more pages right of that right size page so I'm just gonna overload them and go from there <laughs> but that's kind of my goal is to keep doing the challenge but focus on tweaking things that weren't working for me or that I think could work a little better if I just altered it slightly. So, and to look for thing purge opportunities because what we craft and how we craft changes over time. So I don't think it's a bad idea to, you know, once you get organized to have a time once or twice a year where you say, okay, I'm just going to go through and kind of look and see, do I really need this? You know, and as you pull, pull something, especially like coloring products, you find it doesn't work, don't put it back there. Get rid of it. It doesn't work. <laughs> don't keep it. <laughs> but that's kind of where I'm at. I'm really happy with where I'm for where I've what I've accomplished so far. And I'm hoping really to be, if not finished, darn close to finished, honestly it's mainly the color left and that's the big part i have a little bit here of cataloging which that i know i should probably definitely finish in the next couple weeks and then it's color agents i also have a lot of crafting that i want to do for the holidays so that adds to it this is probably going to end up two separate videos just because um i just think i'll be over 15 minutes and while i can post to YouTube over 
15 minutes. I have pro comp. I have the ability to do that. I did that early on because the first video I ever made was over 15 minutes. So I got the approval to do that. But from my iPad through, through iMovie, it limits you to 15 minutes. So I'm not sure how to get around that. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I've got to share today. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying seeing how I'm doing in my unofficial challenge and how I'm storing things as I go. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.